Performing slides on the guitar is one of those techniques that sounds amazing when it's done really well. But when it's done not so well, it can sound a little funky. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you some tips so that you can clean up your guitar slides. And if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna show you an exercise that will help you work on your slides every single day so that they become clean, consistent, and awesome. And I think you're gonna realize it's a lot easier than you think. All that right after this. This Acoustic Guitar Quick Win is brought to you by Tony'sAcousticChallenge.com. I'm Tony Policastro from Tony'sAcousticChallenge.com, where we're all about expanding our quality of life through music and having fun with our guitars. And one way to have fun with your guitar today is to perfect your slide on guitar. Now, I'm not talking like a bottleneck slide. I'm talking about an actual slide. Let me explain what it is. I like to refer to slides as moving one note from one fret to another, something kind of like this. You can hear it, there's a, there's a great Beatles song that I love that has slides in it. It's a cool song. But it features slides prominently, and doing slides well is so imperative because slides can go really wrong. One of the ways that they can go wrong is that the note just disappears. <laughs> Simply, like, you start your slide, and by the time you get to where you're going, the note's gone, or, or the volume is, is so low that it's almost unintelligible. So one of the things that you can do to clean that up is to maintain downward pressure throughout your slide. One of the common pitfalls is lifting up your finger to move it. You don't wanna do that. You wanna maintain downward pressure from your starting point to your ending point. In this case, I'm going from the second fret of the D string to the fourth fret of the D string, like so. making sure that I'm pressing down all the way through, because that's what's gonna give me that good solid tone all the way through. Now, well, there's another thing wrapped up in there, and that's you need to know where you're starting and where you're going to, so that you can slide confidently and maintain that pressure throughout. So again, in this case, I'm going from the second fret to the fourth fret. I know that my ending spot is the fourth fret, and I wanna end up in that sweet spot of the fret, which is right next to the fret, not on top of, but right next to. So if you know your destination, you can slide confidently to it. And there's one more thing that will really help. A lot of times when you're doing a slide, you can feel lost. Like you're moving your whole hand and it just feels kind of strange. This has everything to do with your thumb position. If you're maintaining downward pressure with your slide, if you know where you're starting and where you're going, but you still feel kind of lost, pay attention to what your thumb is doing on the back of the neck because it should not be moving. You shouldn't be moving your whole hand. You should use your thumb in a nice anchored position, kind of like this, and it should be kind of, you wanna treat it like a lever almost, right? So think of your thumb as just not moving, an anchor, and then sliding from it, almost, using your thumb as a lever. I'm gonna try and tilt my guitar down so you can see it. So this is what's happening with my thumb. You can see that lever action. This allows you to keep solid on where you are on the guitar and also feel like you don't have to move your whole hand because once you move your whole hand, you're gonna to start to feel lost, like, like you don't know where to get back to or even where you came from. So it's really important to keep your thumb in one spot. Now. As a bonus, I wanna share with you an exercise that's gonna tie all of this together. Maintaining your downward pressure, being accurate in where you're going, and maintaining your thumb position on the back of the guitar neck. This is one I really like because it allows you to use each finger to slide. Slides aren't just limited to your strong fingers. You should be able to do it on your index finger, middle, ring, and even, yes, the little guy, your pinky. So this particular exercise starts on the first fret of the low E string. And what we're gonna do is slide from the first fret to the third fret of the low E string with your index finger, like so. The second part of the exercise goes to the second fret. And with your middle finger, you're gonna slide from the second fret to the fourth fret of the low E string, like so. Again, maintaining downward pressure, knowing where you're going, and keeping that thumb in the same spot. The third part of the exercise starts on the third fret with your ring finger, and with your ring finger, you're gonna slide from that third fret to the fifth fret, like so. 
And then last, but certainly not least, we can't forget about the pinky. It's gonna start on the fourth fret and slide from the fourth fret to the sixth fret. So that exercise in its entirety sounds like this. It's a great exercise to develop strength in each of your fingers and to develop the confidence that each of your fingers can in fact do a proper slide. Now, if you totally dug this lesson, I wanna know. Let me know in the comments below if you had a small win or a light bulb moment. And of course, if I forgot anything, let me know. Maybe there's a tip or a trick that you like to use and wanna share with everybody. That would be great and please leave it in the comments. And one more thing. If you really enjoyed this lesson, you'll absolutely love my five day acoustic guitar challenge. You're gonna get a new exercise every day for five days. You're gonna bolster your practice routine and you're gonna learn brand new techniques that you can add to your playing immediately. All you have to do to sign up is click the link in the description or here in the video. It's gonna take you to another page and you can be doing your first exercise within 10 seconds, maybe seven and a half seconds, depending on how fast you can type. So I hope you enjoy that. And of course, I'll see you in the next lesson.